Welcome back to the channel. How can we as sighted individuals help those with low vision, vision impairment or blindness? This must be a question occurring to all of us. So how can we help them a little more than just crossing roads? Let's have a look in today's video. Globally, at least 2.2 billion people have a vision impairment or blindness, of whom at least 1 billion have a vision impairment that could have been prevented or is yet to be addressed. The leading causes of vision impairment are uncorrected refractive errors and cataracts. The majority of people with vision impairment are over the age of 50 years. 200 million people with low vision do not have access to assistive products for low vision. Lack of affordability in low income countries are a major reason that people with low vision do not have access to assistive products. One thing you must keep in mind that it's not the end of the world for individuals with low vision, vision impairment or blindness. I'm sure we have come across someone or the other with these conditions. Our human instinct and qualities encourage us to help them. Now there are myriads of aids available to assist them perform their day-to-day -day activities. Just like you and me. In fact, at times even more efficiently. Smartphones have become increasingly affordable and widely used. So why not use some of the inbuilt features that are meant to improve the quality of their lives? Today we'll be covering an app and some of the features that are built into our phone that help the visually impaired or individuals with low vision or blindness in navigating the smartphone environment with absolute ease and comfort. The highlight is that this app is free and all of the features are already built into our phone. We just need to know their use. It will take multiple videos to cover all of the available aids. But let us begin by exploring this app called the Money app or the Mobile Aided Note Identifier app. It was interesting for me that the Reserve Bank of India launched this app to assist those with visual impairment in identifying Indian bank notes, both the old and the current series of notes. What this app does, it takes a picture of the note analyzes it and intimates the user through an audio notification. The Money app was launched on 1st January 2020. It's available for both iOS and Android operating systems and can be downloaded for free. To use the app, ensure that the voice over feature in your iPhone or the talk back feature in your Android device is turned on. It can be found under the accessibility menu of your iOS or Android device. It reads aloud each element that you touch on the screen. We'll talk about the inbuilt features in more depth shortly. Once this feature is on, this is the screen that you will see. Once the app initializes, any currency note can be held in front of the camera and it immediately recognizes and announces it aloud. 500 rupees. Now moving on to some of the inbuilt features in our phones. Both iOS and Android operating systems provide some accessibility features to individuals with low vision, vision impairment or blindness. There are also features for individuals with hearing, learning or mobility impairments. The voiceover or the talkback feature. This feature on both devices speaks the items on the screen. On the iOS, it also describes images. You can adjust the speaking rate, the voice and pronunciation that you wish to hear and even change the pitch of the voice and add various languages too. The zoom or magnification gestures. This feature magnifies the entire screen. Using some gestures, you can control the enlargement of items on the screen. The iOS has an inbuilt magnifier. It works like a digital magnifying glass. Now you might ask, what is the difference between the magnifier and the camera app? The difference is that the magnifier app provides certain added functions like using the flash to brighten objects increasing or decreasing the contrast, viewing the objects through various filters like white blue, yellow blue, gray scale, yellow black, red black. You can invert colors as well. Display and text size. The iOS lets you invert colors, reduce the intensity of bright colors, enable gray scale or choose from a range of color filters to support different forms of color blindness or other vision challenges. With the invert colors setting, the operating system automatically recognizes when a piece of media is using a dark color style, 
so it can reverse the colors of the display without affecting the look of the images, videos and certain apps. The Android OS also has features that change the display size, the contrast of text and invert and correct color. There are also options to reduce the motion of the user interface and also the parallax effect of the icons. Another feature is the speak screen. Turn it on and have all the content on the page read back to you. You can adjust the voice's dialect and speaking rate and have word sentences or words within sentences highlighted as they are being read. Another feature on iOS is that of audio descriptions. This feature helps you watch movies with detailed audio descriptions of every scene. Movies with audio descriptions are displayed with the AD icon. For all our viewers, let what you have learned today act as an impulse to help those around you with low vision, vision impairment or blindness. As students, stay alert to occasions where you can help and assist individuals learn about these features and actively contribute in enhancing their lives. If you see them using a smartphone, take some time out and explain to them these features that can change the way they function.